as well. Hey guys, today with us is my favorite lender. Her name is Melissa. She's with Guild Mortgage. Just quick, really quick, because everybody's so busy. Melissa, today you sent me a very interesting update. So guys, so many of you are intimidated by the cost of borrowing money to pay a home mortgage. And I get it. Everybody who's trying to buy, we have to have the same conversation. I do not think I can afford that monthly payment. Can we find a smaller house, et cetera, et cetera. Well, guess what? Something interesting is happening. You might be able to afford a higher house, a bigger house for less money right now. So Melissa, you sent me three updates. What were they? Tell me. Okay. So the first one is a change in the way that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, so they're the ones that ultimately buy the loans, have priced loans. So they're less expensive for people with, not, not at the highest income level, but for a lot of people, this is going to help a lot when get into mm -hmm. details and some examples. The other is, the second is a down payment assistance program. So this is a limited time offer. It's it, when it's gone, it's gone. But while it's here, we need to take advantage of it because it's a low interest rate 4% down payment assistance and just a great option for somebody. There are income restrictions on that. They're a little bit tighter. Um, the third option has no income restrictions. So this is one that gives buyers a lower payment. For the first two years they have the loan, we found a new way to come up with the money to make that happen. And I'm, I'm just going to allow more people to use that, that product. Perfect. So now tell me, because most of us uh, in the industry are very used to this lender jargon that we all throw around that really is not helping to our viewers. Tell me just very, in very basic terms, how, so most people, when they try to buy a house, they encounter two problems. Number one, they think that their down payment is too big there and the closing cost and then the moving cost, they're just not sure that they're ready with the, with the cash available. Any of those updates, are, is any of those updates available to help with the down payment? I would say the first two are going to okay. happen because the, the first one, so this is a, it's a conventional loan program. So people can put 3% down. Now the challenge with putting 3% down with a conventional loan is that you're looking at higher interest rates normally, but this program takes out that add-on to the interest rate so a 3% loan becomes much more affordable to a buyer as long as they fit the criteria for this because so of kind of to translate it, they can have less money saved. Yes. But their monthly payment will not increase. Correct. Did yeah. I understand? Okay. So yeah. yeah. And to give you an example, yesterday I priced out a loan for someone who qualified for this. And normally their rate would be about 6.125 or would have been. They were at 5.75. Okay, how much in money terms that translated into savings for them on their monthly yeah, payment? I'm going to do a really quick calculation here if you yeah. want to ask me another question. <laughs> yeah, so guys, just to let you know, whenever you have a situation where they're talking about interest rates and down payment, if your down payment is less and you have less money to bring to the table, typically, typically, that means that your monthly payment will be higher. So this is only the trade-off. Do you want a lower payment, monthly payment, or do you want a lower down payment? In this specific case, and it is very rare in the mortgage industry, it seems like this update is able to achieve both. By applying now and seeing if you can secure this program, you can achieve both the lower payment without the increase of monthly payment. So how much were they able to save on their loan? So that would have been $71 a month on a $300,000 loan. Okay, so almost a hundred dollars a month less mm -hmm. just because they talked to you and qualified for this program, right? Yeah. Okay, seventy dollars uh, per twelve months. It's like you know eight hundred something dollars multiplied by thirty years. You calculate it yourself, guys. Okay, so that's wonderful. Anything else uh, as far as the down payment? Because a lot of people are less intimidated by the interest rate. They don't even understand the interest rate, but they know exactly how much money is in, in their bank account, right? So tell me more. So that's where that second program comes in. So mm -hmm. this is going to give that buyer, it, they have some fees. So the net amount is 3%, but mm -hmm. get 3% down payment assistance of 3% of the loan amount. And that can be used to cover their down payment. Now this is an FHA loan. So this would cover mm -hmm. almost all of their down payment. 
So now they have to have come up with a half a percent of the purchase price plus closing costs. But the program does allow sellers to cover closing costs as well. So if mm-hmm. we're, we're still in a market where it's potentially possible to get sellers to pay some closing costs. Mm-hmm. Um, and very much so, by the way. Very much yeah. So. I, and I and I don't think that's going to stay that way. So now mm-hmm. is a really good time to buy. Um, so between that program that now has a 5.75 interest rate, which mm-hmm. is absolutely unheard of for that mm-hmm. kind of down payment assistance, mm-hmm. and normally it's like 7.25. Mm-hmm. So if I understand correctly, let's just imagine that, let me run the scenario by you. I have somebody who contacted me and they're ready to buy. There's about 300, uh, $300,000 type of a house. And they say, unfortunately, how much do you have saved for your down payment? I only have $8,000 saved. Mm-hmm. Do you think that this, this type of program would be able to help somebody with this kind of cash state? So tell me tell me how that money would be distributed. And maybe they can even have a little bit of money left over for the moving expenses. So I, I ran numbers. Now, this is for someone looking at a $200, $250,000 house. Okay, let's go with 250 for now. Yeah, I did mm-hmm. it this morning. So they would be looking at... They had eight thousand dollars saved, so uh-huh. very, 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 very much. So yes, okay. Yeah, exactly. uh-huh. So for them using this program, they would have needed, and this is assuming mm-hmm. the seller's not covering anything. Mm-hmm. They would have needed ninety one hundred for closing. Ninety one hundred. So they're really close. Very very close. Like, very, yeah. Assuming that the seller can contribute at least fifteen hundred, which at this point, unless they're going for a very hot house, almost any seller can be talked into you know fifteen hundred dollar concession. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes for yes. now for now guys we just wait until april in april all of this will vaporate <laughs> because yes. everybody will be selling pounds like pancakes but go ahead exactly so so no we that scenario would absolutely work today i think okay so that uh that down payment assistance is it just for the first time home buyers or what was the situation with it? that one they do not actually have to be first time home buyers no. I did not need to be home buyers, but it is still a hard program, right? It is still there. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you guys don't worry about our discussion about hard programs or not. The point is that even if you're not a first time home buyer, but especially if you're a first time home buyer, yes. go ahead and find out if that can help you. And now what was the third update about the money being, you know, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Still the secret to us. Melissa. So this one is like you've got piles of money out there and we okay. want to use them for specific things. So what okay. we're using these and and the change with this is that we can now use money from the seller and money from us as the lender to cover to basically subsidize your payment for the first two years and let me let me just like like rephrase that we can now ask you to give the buyer some money yes over the house yes right so this is the the translation of it okay you heard me right guys so the lender in this specific case, and, and this is very rare, very rare for a lender to step in to help a buyer or the borrower with, with costs of purchasing. But in this particular case, what specifically are you going to do uh, with the money? So we are going to use that money to subsidize the buyer's payment for a year. Okay. So let's, Are they not going to have any monthly payments then, or how is it going to work? They're still going to have a monthly payment, but it's going to be lower than it would be okay. normally. So let's say so, they're normally 6%. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Their payment will actually be based on an interest rate of 5% for the first year. Mm-hmm. And then after the first year, it goes to 6 Now, if we can also get the seller to chip in mm-hmm. and have a payment based on 4% for the first year, mm-hmm. 5% for the second, 6%. For years three plus, unless they can refinance, which we think they will most likely be able to do. So, if uh, I'm going to keep talking, can you calculate if we can? Let's just say, let's assume your 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 buyers was 250, right? Yep. Can you see how much they would be saving if we were able to? And let's assume, let's leave it to me to talk to the seller, right? Let's assume yep. that the seller already agreed. And uh, unless you guys want to really, really, really hot uh, an expensive house. Talking to the seller about subsidizing your interest rate right now, it's a fairly normal conversation in the industry. Yeah. So, well, so just to let you know how it works, uh, what Melissa is talking about, and I'm going to kind of throw in a little jargon, at you, it's called one-two interest rate buy-down. And buy-down means you have a 30-year loan 
that has an interest rate of let's just say six percent but for the first one or two years you can remove part of your part of that percentage and basically get some of the uh some of the payment put it down so go ahead Melissa tell us how it works yeah so for the first year it, the seller would contribute and this is a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar okay. loan uh mm -hmm. deal so the seller would contribute thirty three thousand six hundred eighty eight dollars okay so we need to ask the seller for 3k okay but 3k and then the uh their payment the buyer's payment is reduced by three hundred and seven dollars per month Wow, three hundred. How how much? Three hundred and ten dollars. Three hundred and seven. Well, uh, I'm rounding it up always. Yeah. <laughs> three ten. Okay, guys. So three ten. Just think of what you can do with three hundred ten dollars per month. You know, um, you know, a lot of things. But okay, so that was if we do the seller, and then if you if you chip and in, if we chip in, then year two they save one hundred and fifty seven dollars a month. Okay, so they start with a saving of 310 and then go and it, their, their payment increases slightly, right, uh, on year two. And now they're only saving $150 per month. And then on year three, if they don't refi at that point, then it goes back to whatever it was to be before. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's going back to what it would have been. Would have been without your, you guys helping and the sellers helping, right? Yes. Yeah. So they still have that 30 year loan. And if they're worried that rates might go up, they're locked in. Okay, so now tell me, can we layer those programs? So remember, we have that program with five point. What, what was that uh, rate that you mentioned? So this can be layered with the first program I mentioned. That would be layered with the first program. Yeah. Okay, tell us how it would be layered with the first program, how it would look like. Let's take 250K. For that, we're going to take that. So that interest rate would be a little bit lower than what I just went over. So for that person, they would be looking at a payment savings of $301 a month for the first year. Okay. And then $155 for the second year, monthly savings. Okay. And the down payment, any down payment savings? That would be three, that would be a 3% down payment. So that would be 3% down payment versus what? What would they be approximately saving on the down payment? Um, versus five normally. Versus five. So they're saving 2%. So 2% yeah. of 250 is 5K, right? Yes. Okay. So they would need to have five thousand dollars less cash to close, and they would be saving three hundred plus in a first year of purchase. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And now tell us, do they need to? What are the restrictions? You said there is a little bit of restriction, not for the highest uh, earning individuals, but what is the top top income bracket for that? So for the first program, it's about one hundred and twenty thousand. Okay. Um, Jointly or whoever's qualifying. Whoever's qualifying. Okay. Gotcha. And then same for the second, although that income restriction is about 77,000 if you're buying in uh, Dallas, Denton, um, Kaufman County, I think falls into that. If you're buying in Tarrant County and I think Parker, um, those are at 73,000. Okay, so guys, long story short, if you think that you're making less than 120K, then your next step is to contact Melissa and tell me which of those are the first time for serve, I forgot, so which means that the money are not there forever. The sooner you apply, the sooner you can get it. Go ahead. The second one. The second one. Okay, so just mm, to recap. There's three currently three ways that can we can help you to save money if you want to purchase a house this year. However, not all of those options are available indefinitely. Some of them are first time for serve means the more people apply, the fewer money are left in the program, which means that I recommend that if you're even thinking about buying this year, reach out to Melissa, talk to her and see which of those three cases you can apply to your to your purchase situation, how much can be saved. And then you can make a decision. If, if none of those helps you for some reason, you still don't have enough down payment or whatever, then you can make a decision at that time. That makes sense? Melissa, how they can contact you? So um, I can be reached at 214-535-6738. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you just Google Melissa Condenza, you'll find my website. You'll I'm find going to put it. I'm going to put it all in the in the in the below. Yeah, the links below. and then from there you can link to email, and um, it should be fairly easy to find. <laughs> Perfect. 
anything else that I need to know about you, your take on how else they can, what else they can leverage right now to save money? Because today I want everybody to realize that this year we have the first dip in prices yes. that we've had in the last four years. And if you miss this opportunity, there is no telling if you will be able to buy the house in the next five years. So this might be your only opportunity. Pick Melissa's brains. Yeah, no, and, and I think that is a very real, real mm -hmm. statement because uh, if you look at the millennials, mm -hmm. that is the largest uh, generation that we've had as far as population goes. And the leading edge of the millennials have just turned 34. Mm -hmm. It happens to be the new current average age for a first time home buyer or median mm -hmm. age. So that means there's a whole lot of millennials coming behind those first now and also the age the that median age has gone up considerably it was about 26 for the baby boomers so it's gone up millennials have waited longer but they are they're getting they're, to the market they're, yeah they're, they're already they're at the gate uh and last thing uh last thing the lowest credit score would for to qualify mm -hmm. yes you do not need perfect credit to buy a home set okay. uh, 540 is actually our minimum required credit score 540 let me just put it on the record because 550 <laughs> is what i've heard from you before 540 540 okay. it is um fha and va usda okay. theoretically but i've never seen okay any. so let's not worry about you Dave, for now don't worry about it guys point is if you're at 540 or above let me talk to melissa about you so we can get you into the potential for home ownership this year. Yes. Perfect. High five, Melissa. You're awesome as usual. Thank and you. I guess I'll talk to you soon, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Bye, Melissa. See ya. I'm going to put all of her contact information in the link below. Thank you, guys. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> Let me stop.